This week, we'll be looking at flexibility, yoga, and mindfulness. Flexibility is an important part of good health, good physical health and good physical fitness. Exercise can actually reduce flexibility as muscles become stronger and tighter. We'll look at yoga because yoga is a particularly effective way to improve flexibility, especially with age. But we're also going to look at mindfulness because historically, yoga was a way to prepare the body for long periods of sitting to make sure that the flexibility was there to sit comfortably for long periods of meditation. For the ancient yogis, those who practiced yoga, yoga and meditation were two sides of the, of a, the same coin, essentially. They were things that went together because the mind and the body are intimately connected. And so they did both uh, yoga and meditation. If the mind is not healthy, the body won't be healthy either. If you're stressed out, if you're depressed, your immune system is compromised. You're more likely to become sick. You're more likely to become ill. And so keeping a healthy mind is important to overall physical fitness and physical health. And mindfulness is a way to actually improve the health of your mind. A number of studies over the last 40 years have looked at this connection. And it's one reason some of these monks and yogis and, and other gurus live to such old ages so healthy. Because they keep the mind healthy and the mind keeps the body healthy. It's all connected together. So that's what we'll be looking at this week. We'll be looking at flexibility. We'll look briefly at yoga. And we'll wrap up with mindfulness. So get out there and walk those miles. And uh, take a look at the videos for this week.